Hello, this is Dr. Aubrey Wallace, and this is the EOE Report for this week, March 20th through March 27th, 2023. Last week, we were in a fourth chakra focus, which is a, a heart focus, with hearts ablaze. So last week was about getting inspired, a fire of inspiration through winds of change, blowing uh, through our lives, getting us aligned with our heart, hopefully aligned with what's important in your values at the center of that fire and bringing us some health. This week we move into a chakra eight focus and a chakra eight focus means being your, on your contract or it's about us considering um, what's, your, what's your soul purpose? What's your life purpose this week? And sometimes it means that your life purpose steps in and takes, uh, takes the lead this week. So maybe things will be lining up for you in a way around letting go of a contract or starting uh, maybe starting a new one if that's uh, what's happening for you. The map this week was a set of bells and um, they looked a little bit like wedding bells and they had the bow of the wedding bells, which is usually two bells. And they had a little bit like a death bell uh, also coming here with the handle. Uh, so there was a feeling of both of a death and kind of a wedding or a renewal and a, and a, bon a, a new, a new um, relationship, a new contract, right? So it seems like that contract too had three uh, bells instead of just two bells. So I think this has a few different layers of meaning here. Um, the the middle bell here is then the color of resilience of the heart so the primary bell here is is being rung to say what are you passionate about what are you here to do remember your resilience and bring that through and it has a handle and the inside roll in the color of blessings so there are blessings coming through with that and then manifestation is the color here on the edges so i do think there's a sense of this coming in almost like a, a bit of a rebirth and a feeling of resilience of what you're passionate about. It also looks a little bit like an eye looking right at us, uh, so right at us in the third chakra level. So it feels like it may be, feels a little intimidating perhaps uh, to have yourself looked at like that, but go ahead and get back into that feeling of the ringing of this new way coming into your life. And then remember that it is actually more like wedding bells. So that's warding off, you know, negative spirits saying it's going to be a good, this new way will be good for you. And the new, the new relationships and bonds you make in this new direction will be blessed, right? Blessed by the wedding. The two colors here too, we have orange and red. So I do think that that will, the blessings of this, whatever's coming up have to do with, you know, money, power, uh, and career on this side and then uh, you know just physical reality on this side what's happening in the physical world it also looked to me as if these um, these rings of the sacred are coming off off the bell so it feels like as the bell is being rung the sacred is being brought out to us in the world and the message here is for you the bell tolls and the original message I think of of you know, for whom the bell tolls is has a an aspect of it that is about what what happens to one of us happens to all of us, right? And for this one, they're saying for the things that are manifested for you are are for all for all beings. So the four is also a, a foundational number. It's a number of connection and foundation. So I think you might look this week if you're moving on your contract. You know, what is it that that you need in your life um, what are you working to manifest and and is it a letting go is it a death it is a, is it a marriage is it new relationships and a commitment to something new that's positive in the world and if so can you see how that can ripple out in in the sacred to help others the bow here which is the part that represents kind of the wedding bell is in the color of evolutionary growth leap so i do think we're here we're, we're being kind of pushed to do this next phase a little bit uh, but it, we're on the contract and we can get through this and maybe celebrate that new direction. Um, and remember, uh, you know, if you ring the wedding bells, there's you have support. There's you have blessings over this next period of time. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you are able to find your resilience. Remember what it keep your eye on what you want to manifest and allow it to ripple out into the world. We'll see you next week.